is iPhone 11. It's perhaps one of the most anticipated events for global smartphone users, the unveiling of Apple's newest iPhone. But this year, the surprise was less about the phone itself than its price, which reflects one of the biggest year-over-year -year reductions in Apple history. The iPhone 11, which replaces the iPhone XR, is $50 cheaper than last year's model. iPhone 11, the, the entry-level one, it's $699. That's the, one of the lowest prices they've had in a long time for a high-level phone, even though it only has the two cameras instead of three like you have in the Pro Series. This year's surprise reduction comes amid a global decline in smartphone shipments estimated to fall by 2.2% 2 .2 in 2019, according to the IDC research firm. Experts say Apple's unexpected strategy partly reflects the company's aim of attracting a wider pool of buyers, who may now prioritize storage upgrades over new features. So you have people that sunk in $1,000 for a phone. They're not going to buy for another two, three years, probably. Um, so it's, it's always difficult. This is about capturing more um, uh, of the older uh, generation device owners. One major smartphone innovation was noticeably absent from Tuesday's presentation, 5G, an absence that has set Apple behind some of its competitors. Both Samsung and Huawei released 5G models earlier this year.